former British Prime Minister Boris Johnson tried to dissuade the Russian ruler from invading Ukraine, but he was afraid that NATO missiles would fly towards Moscow. The politician spoke about this in his upcoming memoirs, Unleashed, which will be published in parts. The Times reports, according to Johnson, no one planned to provide NATO missiles to Ukraine. However, Putin did not believe this and believed that it would hardly take long for a missile launched from Ukraine to hit the Russian capital. At one point, he made what appeared to be a creepily humorous remark about the risk of miscalculation and unintended nuclear exchange between Russia and NATO. I wouldn't want to hurt you, Boris, he said. Recall, this remark was later denied by the Kremlin. Ukraine is already using long-range missiles, fighter aircraft and other high-grade weaponry provided by its Western allies to hit Russian targets in Crimea and other occupied areas inside Ukraine. From the US, Ukraine wants more of the Army tactical missile system. The system can shoot ballistic missiles that can carry cluster munitions up to a range of 300 kilometers. This means that they can hit Russian military bases and runways from which Moscow launches attacks against Ukrainian bases, along with towns and cities and energy infrastructure. The Storm Shadow missiles of the United Kingdom, which are cruise missiles launched from aircraft are also capable of reaching targets deep inside Russia as they boast a range of up to 250 kilometers. The French equivalent of these missiles, known as Scalp, has similar capabilities. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he wishes to convince Kyiv's allies to drop their reluctance about the use of missiles to hit Russian assets outside Ukraine, insisting that we are closer to the end of the war than might be expected. If Ukraine's demands on missiles are accepted, it would primarily have an effect on areas within about 200 kilometers of the front lines in Ukraine, with most likely targets including logistics hubs like fuel or ammunition sites, command and control locations, troop assembly areas, transport choke points, airfields and naval bases, according to Justin Crump, CEO of risk intelligence company Sibyline and former British Army officer. At least 10 people, including a child, were injured in a Russian attack on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv overnight, officials said Thursday. The state emergency service reported that a five-story residential building was partially damaged. Ukraine's Air Force reported that 78 out of 105 Shahid drones launched by Russia overnight were destroyed on Thursday. 23 drones were neutralized over Ukraine, most likely by electronic warfare, according to the statement. 15 regions of the country came under Russian attack, officials said. <laughs> Ukrainian forces are withdrawing from the frontline town of Volodar, perched atop a tactically significant hill in eastern Ukraine, after more than two years of grinding battle, military officials said Wednesday. Volodar, a town Ukrainian forces fought tooth and nail to keep, is the latest urban settlement to fall to the Russians. It follows a vicious summer campaign along the eastern front that saw Kiev cede several thousand square kilometers, square miles, of territory. Ukraine's Kortitsia ground forces formation, which commands eastern regions including Donetsk, said in a statement posted on Telegram it was withdrawing troops from Volodar to protect the military personnel and equipment. In an attempt to take control of the city at any cost, reserves were directed to carry out flanking attacks, which exhausted the defense of the units of the armed forces of Ukraine. As a result of the enemy's actions, there arose a threat of encircling the city, the statement said.
The tactical significance of the town, situated at the confluence of two major roads, is twofold. Dominant heights and proximity to railway lines offer Moscow greater protection for their own logistics routes, and a better vantage point for attacks against Ukrainian forces and supply lines feeding the south. Its capture is another notch in Moscow's belt, bringing it closer to the key logistics hub of Pokrovsk. Ну так, э, блядь. Туда не так, Вала, мы по факту идем, там пешком будем. Куда? Куда? 